Hello and welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, it feels so good to be filming. I have now, I'm going to do an update video anyway, but um, this video will be up before my update one. So just want to briefly tell you, I have now finished my masters. Um, it's been a very stressful couple of weeks, which is why I haven't been so frequent with my uploads and why it's took me so long to film this video when I've had these products since they were launched, like t a day after they launched. But yeah, I finished my masters. I ended up getting a week extension just because of personal problems. Um, so it ended up being a lot longer than what I wanted um, so that means it knocked back my YouTube schedule and then also the day that it was due in with my extension my mum went in for a brain scan and um, she ended up having an allergic reaction like honestly it's just my mum that could have this she had an allergic reaction to the dye that they put in for the brain scan it was like a contrast brain scan it was called um, to try and find out the reason behind her leg pain it's been something that we've been trying to get started all year now, um, maybe even longer than, than a year actually. But yeah, anyways, let's get into the fun bit. I just thought I'd update you and let you know this is why this video has come up so much later than um, the product launching. So this is Boohoo's makeup range and I got this box when I did the collab for the All Girls campaign. So I thought I'm going to put all the products inside the pretty box. So we have loads of goodies. Um, we have matte liquid lipstick set. These are so reasonably priced, by the way. That is one of the things that really impressed me when I looked on the website to see what I wanted. Every single product that I mentioned will be linked down below, so you can go get it yourself if you like the look of it. So we also have a Trio Vinyl Lip Lacquer set as well. We have eyeshadow palettes, bronze palettes, contour, highlight. Woo! <laughs> you drop for the wall. And um, we also have another matte liquid lipstick one. So we have kind of like a nude set and then a dark set as well, which is perfect for this time of the year. But I mean, nudes are always, always popular. So the other thing that I got is the Get Set Vitamin Enrich Makeup Setting Spray. And I mean, how, how nice is this packaging? And this is 100 milliliters, so it's a nice big size one as well. And super, super affordable. Please give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see a video of me swatching these matte liquid lipsticks and I will get them done for you straight away and get them up as soon as possible. So like I said, you have the nude set and then the darker set. I'm sure there's another one of these, a trio but with like the darker colours in it. They also have matte liquid lipsticks with lip liners as well. So please do let me know if you want me to do like a full boohoo lipstick range or a video just dedicated to the lip glosses as well because I'd be more than happy to do that for you. If you know me, you know I absolutely love Boohoo. This play suit that I'm wearing at the moment is actually from Boohoo. I bought this with my own money. These products were sent to me, by the way, from Boohoo, but it's not gonna change my opinion on the products when I test them. But yeah, this is like a kind of leaf patterned bell sleeve jump, no, play suit. I always go to say jumpsuit, but it's not, it's a play suit. But I'll insert a picture of me wearing it for a night out in Newcastle here, so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to begin with their bronzer trio palette. So this is the three shade bronze palette and I'm going to begin with this colour and a little bit of this one to bronze up my cheekbones and then I'm also going to do the temple area and underneath here as well, hide them double chins. That is so easy to blend out by the way, like that was just like super super easy to do they're really smooth in the middle is kind of like a highlighter shade let's swatch it it's kind of like a highlighty shade in the middle and it just looks like that the light's not really doing it any justice there but that is really pretty i'm not sure whether i'm going to be using that because i do have a highlight palette so i'll put that to one side for now but so far i'm really impressed with that bronzer and I always find that bronzers are, are quite hard to get right because they're either the two orange or they're really red or they're just like dull in like cool toned and stuff so well done, well done on the bronzer. The next one we're going to go in with is the highlighter palette and this one has a different coloured box and the packaging is kind of like a rose gold which I absolutely love. You know that I love my rose gold. And then the inside looks like this so instead here we kind of like have a matte kind of like it's got a slight shimmer between it but not much and i'm gonna put this underneath 
Ooh, that's actually nice and brightening. All of them come with little mirrors in, by the way, and the mirrors are really good quality. Which I know people are like, well, it's just a mirror, but it actually makes such a difference. Ooh, I think that's got like a little bit of pink to it because that looks really pretty. I mean, probably not so much for underneath my eyes, but it's done a nice brightening effect. So obviously, pink does brighten as well. And then we kind of have a more of like a yellowy toned one and then we have like a quite bright pink it actually comes off more purpley on your finger let's do a little swatch oh that actually is really nice it's quite it's a little bit oh it's a little bit chalky but when you blend it in it goes really really buttery so i think it's going to be one of the ones where it doesn't really wow you until it actually gets on your face because swatching it didn't really do much for it but let's see what it's like on the face so I'm gonna go for this one here because I'm not brave enough to go for a pink highlight <laughs> can you see that oh my god that is bright wow wow <laughs> Like, can you see that? I have to blend that out a bit. That is so bright and pigmented. I am really impressed by that. Wow. I bet this would make a really nice eyeshadow as well. Like, can you see that? Jeez. Jeez Louise. That packed more punch than I expected. Should we put a bit of pink on it? Let's begin. Just a titchy little bit of the pink one. Wow. Jeez, highlight come through, yes! <laughs> Honestly, was not like was not expecting that. Wow. So the other palette that we have from these little palettes, this is the contour sculpting palette, which looks like this. And so this one you get kind of once again like a matte. This is more of a neutral shade, so if you were darker than me, or for instance when I'm wearing fake tan, or if you are just literally um, darker than fair skinned like me, I look quite brown in this in this lighting, but I'm really not. Um, this would be a perfect setting, under eye setting powder for you. And then we have this kind of middle one here, which is kind of like a peachy, oh that's smooth. It's kind of like a, a light peachy, slight shimmer. Ooh, do you know that would be really nice if you are um, dark toned, like if you have a darker complexion. That would probably be really nice for you underneath your eyes. And it'll help brighten it up with like the peachy undertone too. And then we have obviously this one here. And I'm going to use this one. So I'm just going to grab this brush here and we'll try and see what this one is like for contouring. Because obviously this is the contour sculpting palette. everything is so pigmented I am so impressed wow and to the other side like boohoo have literally like shocked me like they have really really shocked me like can you see that contour and I put like the tiniest bit on my brush and I use this brush with like the balm um highlighter the Bahama I can't remember what it's called and um, like the one that's like in the little yellow cardboard box and um, I've used that one with it I've used Galan I've used Benefit with this brush and none of them have given me that kind of kick that this one just has wow this will be amazing when I've got a fake tan on as well I can just tell that it's going to be amazing for nights out I'm just going to take the bigger fluffy brush just to blend it out so we haven't got any harsh harsh lines because it looks harsh on camera but i promise you it does not look harsh like that in person wow wow i honestly whoo boohoo baby <laughs> so that was the contour sculpting palette okay so the next one please don't let me down this is the eyeshadow palette this is high pigment apparently eight colored eyeshadow palette so it just looks like this and then when you open it up I decided and I kind of regret it now I wish I went for the other coloured one 
because the other coloured one had like a really nice gold in it and you know what I'm like for my gold eyeshadow and it would have been perfect with this play suit as well because I always like to go for like a bronzy um, look when I go for this play suit. So the one that I picked up, oop, let's hold the brush in, is this one here. So it has a one, two, three, four, five, six shimmers and two mattes. And the reason I decided to go for this one over the gold one is because I thought I got my comfort zone, but also I could use the bronzer and contour palette as my like transition shades and stuff. So I'm using like a lot of their products multi-use as well because I love doing that. I mean, I did it today with a different look that I did for Rimmel. Um, and I just absolutely love multi-using products. So I'm going to be using a big fluffy brush and I'm going to use this colour here from the Bronzer Bronze Palette. And I'm just going to put this through my crease, just starting in the middle part here. And then blending out, doing the dump and blend. Please let me know if you know who I'm talking about when I say dump and blend. Because small world and all that <laughs> I am so impressed I hope it comes up on camera how lovely these products are I honestly I absolutely love boohoo like absolutely love it if you saw me when I went to the I can't get over how stunning that highlight looks like and the contour oh. anyways if you saw me for the blog awards um, when I went to the blog awards in Manchester the other week I bought myself out of my own money like I bought this um, place it out with my own money too but I bought myself a boohoo dress if you follow me on Instagram or if you're in our Facebook group Loose as the Ladies everything is linked down below by the way then you'll start anyway because I've shared pictures on there unfortunately we didn't win and um, there will be a video coming up of what I got in my goodie bag and um, pictures of the night and stuff like a little montage kind of thing that I'm going to be doing so yeah I wore like a peplum boob tube kind of thing dress like a flowery dress and I wore some shoes from Boohoo as well so literally my whole outfit apart from my jewellery and my clutch bag were Boohoo I honestly I absolutely love it and that dress just looked absolutely stunning like I felt so good in that dress and you know that I've been like trying to lose weight for quite a while now and I've lost like over a stone already by the way I'm just going in with this shade here with a smaller brush in my crease so yeah it was really nice to be all done up and nice and fancy for the awards okay so I'm thinking I think I'm gonna go for this one here this color and I'm gonna put this all over my lid Ooh, that's quite a lot packed on there like and then I'm just gonna put this oh wow you see that there's actually a mirror in the eyeshadow palette as well, which I love. Oh, that is stunning. I'm going to try it with my finger though, because I find that it, things like this apply so much better with your finger. Um, I do it a lot with highlighters as well to get a nice shimmery eyeshadow. I use like my highlighter, but I use my finger to apply it. I mean, it just goes on so much better. I think I'm going to focus it in the middle of my eye like so and then I might do like some kind of halo eye we'll see it's definitely high pigment like what it says on the palette but it's got barely like barely any fallout there's more fallout when I was doing it with a brush than with my finger so and that's quite impressive and then I'm gonna go in with a even smaller fluffy brush and with the sculpting one because obviously that is a darker colour altogether and it's a bit more cool toned which obviously is what you want when you're contouring so I'm going to put this on the outer corner of my eye so I've kind of done it like so but I will go back in and intensify that red again just so I can get a nice blend between it all so like I said I'm going to go back in with the red and pop that again in the middle just to do that kind of halo eye I've never really done one of these before or whenever I have they've never looked right but this one actually looks really nice so far so far so good i'm definitely gonna go for like a nude lip with this color but like i said if you do want me to do a 
video dedicated to just swatching the liquid lipsticks then please do let me know and if you want me to try and get my hands on the liquid lipsticks with the lip liner as well then please let me know because I'll try my best to get my hands on that and maybe even do like a trying on video for you for that too so I'm just going to go back in with that fluffy brush that I started off with and blend 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 and then I'm just going to wipe away the little bit of fallout I mean there's not there's literally not much under there and it's wiped off straight away honestly I am so so impressed with these eyeshadows you're gonna be sick of hearing me say oh my god I'm so impressed <laughs> but I genuinely am I'm going to take a little bit of this shimmery shade here and I'm going to pop this on my little finger and pop this in the inner corner just to try and make my eye pop just a little bit more this would be absolutely stunning by the way of like a glitter on top of that red I've just got a new glitter like a red glitter so it'd be perfect for on top of it I might have to try it in another video like maybe like a fall inspired tutorial or something let me know I'm going to take that shimmery shade again and I'm going to put this underneath my brows please excuse my brows today like they need desperately doing I really need to go get them done so we're just going to hide that and just pretend that that oh, that is such a nice shimmery colour but yeah I'm just going to pretend that my brows don't look like caterpillars today <laughs> Okay, so for lipstick, I'm going to go for one of the ones out of this nude trio. So these are the matte liquid lipsticks. I absolutely love that the packaging represents the colour because it just makes it so much easier to find which colour that you're looking for. Especially when you have like ridiculous amount of lipsticks like I do. I'm not going to lie, the packaging does feel quite um, cheap. But I think they're like £5 for three liquid lipsticks, so... I mean you can't like you can't complain do you know what I mean so that's the light one if you follow me on snapchat and instagram you'll saw me swatch these when they first came which was like a day that after they launched Ooh, that pink one is calling my name and these are just one swipe by the way I'm not going back and forth or anything like that I'm going to go for the darker, more pinky one, just because of the eyeshadow on my lid, I think it might go a little bit better. It once again, has quite a strong smell. It smells like protein shake, like a really, really sweet vanilla protein shake. That was so easy to apply, by the way. I really hope that the dark shades are like this too. If you are a newbie at liquid lipsticks or if you just generally can't apply liquid lipsticks to save your life these are going to be perfect for you because they are so easy to apply like super super easy the drying down already and I've only just finished applying it it doesn't give you and if you wear a lot of liquid lipsticks or if you try a lot of liquid lipsticks you'll know exactly what I'm talking about but when you apply it it doesn't give you that weird where you get like a thicker line around the outside and then it doesn't dry down as quick or doesn't dry down properly as the inner part so it looks a bit weird and it kind of like builds up on the outside when you apply it if you try liquid lipstick you'll know what i'm talking about but it doesn't do that it does feel i mean that's dry already it does feel a little bit dry but if you aren't very good at overlining your lips too this will be perfect for you because that was so so easy to do okay so we'll set it all in place last but not least with the get set vitamin enriched makeup setting spray let's see what the mist is like oh did you see that that is a good mist okay oh, smells lush Honestly, that is such a good, like, spray. Nothing worse than ones that just go up and then, like, spit on you. <laughs> so we have the liquid vinyl. I'll try one of the lip glosses on. I am going to say, now that my lips have dried down fully, I mean, let's do a transfer test. Nothing on the back of my hand. So it's transfer proof as well. But what I am going to say is, you can feel that it's there. You know that you've got a liquid lipstick on. It just feels a little bit dry but I have really dry lips anyway so it's just kind of something that I can't really escape 
but this is something that I I generally do notice whereas if I had like a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick on then it wouldn't feel as tight as this I think if I applied a lip balm and exfoliated before putting it on then it'd be fine and I know a lot of people do that before liquid lipsticks anyway but I'm just lazy so I just don't so yeah I'm going to try the liquid vinyl which is like a lip gloss I'm assuming oh that is nice so I'm going to apply this in the middle and then I'll blend it out so it's kind of a little bit like an ombre can you see that that is stunning that is really pigmented by the way for lip gloss honestly nothing has disappointed me boohoo have blown it out of the park I'm so impressed. I really want to get my hands on all of the collection now. I really want to try the lip liner with the matte liquid lipstick set. I want to try everything and I really hope that they bring out like an advent calendar or something because that would just be unbelievable. Like unbelievable. And like foundations and concealers and stuff. Oh my god I'm just so excited. Thank you so much for Boohoo for sending me this stuff. I'm, I'm literally lost for words. I think the, the thing that I'm really impressed about is I think the base products have probably impressed me the most but that's only because I haven't really had a chance to play around with the lipsticks more thank you so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see a video of me swatching all of the matte liquid lipsticks then please do let me know I'll be very happy to do that for you and if you want to see swatches of the liquid vinyls and for me to get the other packet that has like the darker shades in it then please do let me know and I'll try and get my hands on them to try for you and we'll do another video testing boohoo and seeing what it's like thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment down below let me know which product amazed you the most and which you think looks the best thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video i upload wednesdays fridays and sundays so i'll hopefully see you on one of them days bye guys